This is not the type of workshop I'm used to. This truck is so dirty that I have to fill up the, like I ran out of gas. I ran out of gas trying to clean this thing. It's dirty. Sorry about, let's try this again. The only real reason we had to pick it up is for me to drain the fluids. The fluids are drained. Now I can set this thing back on the ground. But now we need the tractor because it doesn't have any oil or any coolant. But now it's all soaked, so I'm not gonna be able to finish it today. I mean, I could, but why work harder when you can work smarter? I think I'm ready to set that uh, Dodge down. I'm having fun with these two. So we're replacing that bearing right here today? Uh, yeah, all that and the universal and the seal. Uh, Did Danny take this off road or something? Is that why it's like this? So all the Ram charger fluids drain, I'm gonna help you guys, okay? I think you guys are doing excellent considering how rusty that thing is. I can't believe you even got the first one to go. Wow, that just, that makes it so easy. Yeah, and if it don't work, you know what else you do after you heat it and it don't work? You quench it? Yeah, you put cold water on it to shock it. That works. Just left. I'm going to get a shot of that. So my plan is, I'm going to let the fluids drain out of this thing. I got my pans underneath it. And while that's doing that, I'm going to see how these guys make out. Try to help them when I can. Dan, we got a problem. So we tried using the chisel, now we gotta get the torch out. And then we're gonna quench it. And how old is this truck? 99. 99. I'm gonna have to title this video up on the farm. And we do things different on the farm. That's right. So basically, you guys are gonna have a brand new truck by the time we're done here. <laughs> yeah, right. We're gonna do the lower ball joint first, and that ball joint's gotta be pushed through. So we're gonna heat it up. I'm learning farming 101, right? This is gonna need a lot of force. Have you have you seen that the rust down there? It's got some rust. So we've heated around the lower ball joint, and then my idea was to take this big long pull or punch and hit it with a hammer, and all that did was dent the ball joint. So now we're just cutting it with a torch. When in doubt, just torch it out, right? Got the hammer. So is the So is the torch the number one tool at the farm? Is the torch the number one tool at the farm? Uh, the hammer is first. And then the torch? <laughs> you men are animals. He yeah. said those aren't my players, they're mine. He says he doesn't care. Okay. What if we rip this thing right through here? Oh, I like your lighting here in the garage though. This one right here. That's oh. free too. I got the bird camera. If you're nice to them, they don't shit on you when you're working on the bench. <laughs> That's nice of them. Yep. Size. Yep. Oh, sending it right home. These gentlemen are a very big fan of the torch. I'm a big fan of the PB blaster and penetrating oil. All right, here you go. It started, but. What did you think of that PB blaster? Is that good stuff? Yeah. Look at that. First hit. First try. I just got back from Danny's grandfather's. I have to read the note on the back real quick before I hang it up, otherwise I won't be able to read it. Hi all, my name is Derek. I'm 14 years old, I live in Arizona. I love watching your videos every day of the week. Brap on. Thanks Derek. 
you're gonna be on the wall of fame first. Guess I'm a little dirty. Those guys really like their torch, don't they? Now this is very interesting. And this does concern you, so please, let me know in the comment section below. These are batteries and a battery charger for my other camera. So this will be camera A. So here's the picture, here's the audio. So this is camera B, this is the audio, this is the picture, and then these are the batteries for camera B. Whichever you prefer, the poles are up here or in the comment section. And now we're back on camera A. So overall, do you like camera A better or camera B better? If anybody else wants to send me any license plates, they'll go on the wall of fame. I hope I don't run out of room too quickly. 